Hey, 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 it is Friday. This is Dow Welsh welcoming you to Make Your Own Headlines, sponsored by the Office of Dr. Leo Marvin and the letter Y. So what did you hate eating when you were a kid that you kind of like now? I didn't like pimento cheese. It seems like there was always some at the house, but I would not touch it. In fact, I don't even remember getting a pimento cheese sandwich at the Masters Golf Tournament until I was in college. And I'm pretty sure that's why I love pimento cheese now, because of the Masters. Then again, my most glorious sandwich moments have been birthed at the Masters. The subtle excellencies inside of those green wrappers are nothing short of legendary. That's true. A study was done recently about what kinds of foods that people hated as a kid but enjoy now. 2,000 adults were surveyed, and here's the top 10. Asparagus, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, spinach, green beans, fish, avocados, eggs, Greek yogurt, and number 10 on the list was bacon. I don't even know what to do with that. I mean, I can't imagine being friends with a kid that didn't like bacon. Another study was done that revealed that happy people live longer and bacon makes people happy. Therefore, bacon makes you live longer. Look, I'm not saying it's science, but it's science. The Apostle Paul was writing some folks in a place called Galatia, and he said this, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. An exchange had occurred. Paul, a person who used to hate Jesus, hate everything about his religion, now considered Jesus his greatest treasure. What happened? Well, his heart had been captured by something. When Paul realized the truth about what Jesus did on the cross for him, it rattled him. Now, how could someone that he hated choose to give his life up to rescue him? Paul became convinced that the only answer was love. Jesus loved him and gave himself up for him. And Jesus didn't just love Paul. He loved me and you. When the love of Christ captures a person's heart, hatred for God and disbelief in God disappear. Why? Because that person, like Paul, can't get over the fact that Jesus died for them. And why did he do that? So that they might be free and happy forever. That reality is better than bacon. And it's not science. It's security. Jesus personally gave himself for you and personally secured his promise by rising from the dead. He loved you and gave himself up for you. Make that one of your headlines today.